Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to every one of you who is watching me right now, wherever you are in this world. Today, I will be talking about a very significant topic that actually makes me very sick of being a Muslim and live in a Muslim community, which is about the ignorance of Muslim in performing ibadah. And I will be highlighting on two points, which is about the soft and secondly about the sermon, the khutbah. So, a question then. Why, among all topics that can be chosen, this is the one that I stress on? It is because, you can see, no one cares about this thing. No one wants to talk about it and no one actually do anything to solve this problem. And it is weird when Muslims nowadays are talking about wanna change the world, wanna apply Islam in the law, but even our foundation itself is weak. The analogy is like you want to go fishing with a broken rod and you don't want to fix that rod first. Moving on to my first point, which is about closing up the sock. Merapatkan sock. Come on man, I am tired. Every time I go to any mosque to perform obligatory prayer, like Maghrib or Isha, the situation is like this. Like usual, before the prayer starts, Imam will remind the jama'ah to make sure that the soft is closed up and then making the shoulders are touched and the feet are in line and it is good that everyone is following it. But the problem is, as soon as everyone stands up from the first rakaat into the second rakaat or into the following rakaat, everyone forgets about it. There's no more closing up the soft, there's no more making the shoulders touch, there's no more aligning the feet. Like it is disappear. Let us watch this kid. Your slurus and rapat kasaf. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. And not to mention, why there is no one who has this kind of mentality like, oh, I think I should close up the soft because closing up the soft is part of the perfection of the solar. And it does bother me as I look down to my feet, there is a huge gap between my foot and the one beside me. And it takes away my khushun, as closing up the soft is part of the perfection of the solar. The Prophet wasallam mentioned in a hadith, a very popular hadith, where Imam usually recite this hadith as a reminder for the jama'ah, where the Prophet said, narrated by Bukhari and Muslim, Sawu sufu fakum, fa inna tasliyat as-saf min tamam as-salat. Make sure that your saf are in line, because aligning the saf is part of the perfection of the salat. I don't know what happened. I don't know what poisons our mind until everyone is becoming reluctant to aware about this problem. Moving on to my second point, which is about the sermon, the khutbah. Based on a survey that I have made to 10 people, well, surprisingly, 10 out of 10 of them said that they have this kind of mindset, which sermon means sleeping. <laughs> and at this point, I don't know who to be blamed anymore. Is it the people who have this kind of mindset, or is it the sermon which is, I'm sorry to say this, but very, very boring. It's like, the khatib is telling us a bedtime story. And what is the point of you going to a Friday prayer if you are going to sleep at the first place? It's like you are wasting all the good deeds that you have done on that particular Friday. Now, the most significant question, what should we do to solve this problem? Well, regarding the first point about the solve, in my opinion, we should be more aggressive on creating awareness especially to young kids, where parents should educate their children to always straighten up the soft whenever they perform obligatory prayer, so that these children will let it grow up in the future and be a better generation that are aware about the simple things that we missed. And about the sermon, with all due respect, I am sorry to say this, but I believe the major problem is caused by the Jabatan Agama. Because Jabatan Agama is the one who impose the sermon text and Khatib must follow what is written in the text. And in my opinion again, this kind of text should be abolished and 
Jabatan Agama must appoint a very good and quality khatib which can deliver sermon in more spontaneous way, thus making sermon much more convenient to be listened to and not boring. That's all for me. Thank you for watching. If you do agree with my content, it will be very nice if you like my video and you share it. And if you have anything to comment, just put down below. I will respond to it, inshallah. With that, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.